Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode on FC24. Today, we're playing against the best team in the league. It's Man City. They are winning the league by a comfortable six points, but they have played an extra game ahead of Liverpool and myself. The thing is, guys, I, I know I'm not going to win the league. It's going to be almost impossible at this point. So we're just battling to stay third, effectively. I don't think we'll catch Liverpool, although it's possible. And it, it's just going to be about staying ahead of United and Spurs, I think. So I would take third. If I, if I can get third in the league and maybe a semi-final appearance in the Champions League, I think not only would my job be safe, but I'd, I'd be quite happy with that, considering how difficult the season's been and how bad my defending has been. And <laughs> luckily, we're scoring a lot of goals, but we're going to get straight into the game. We just saw Haaland there. He is going to be playing up front. We've still got that problem of it showing Rodri playing at Cam, even though in-game he's not. He swaps with De Bruyne. Um, oh, what a team. Nuno Mendes as a signing at left back. Um, I mean, the fact that they can just bring on Julian Alvarez, Kovacic, Nunes as well. It's such a good team. It really is. And they play the same tactical vision as we do. Their attack is 92 rated. Oh my God. <laughs> 92 rated. Ugh, that's a little bit insane. Now, would you argue that this is a good time to try out training again? I haven't used it in so long. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Why not? I haven't done it in so long, like I said. And I'm going to do it with my defenders because <laughs> I struggle with defending. We're going to do defending scenarios. So Gabriel and Saliba can both get temporary play styles. So let's go ahead and do this now. Give us a, a slight advantage going in against Man City. And that's if I could actually achieve a good score. Sometimes these can be quite tricky. Come on, Gabriel. Nice. Easy thousand points. We've got Enketia and Martinelli, I think that is, against us. Where are you going, Eddie? Whee! This is easy! Last time I did this drill, I did actually struggle a little bit. I'll just slide in. Thank you very much. Over a thousand points. Why Why did I get 1,042 there? What's the difference? And then I got 1,100. It's really weird that. What determines the amount of points? Saliba won't get there. Oh, and Ketia, where are you going, bro? Oh, okay. Fair enough. You got the shot away. I've only got two more attempts. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, the AI can be so dumb. I have to win this tackle. Go on. Yes, there we go. Oh, we've got a spare attempt. Slide in. Beautiful. So that means we've got the block play style and the bruiser play style. I'm surprised Saliba doesn't have bruiser already. But there we go. Um, press conference as well. It is funny. I, I barely do these pre-match things already because it, it just feels so pointless. Um, we've got every chance. Are we on a run right now? I feel like we lost quite recently. Liverpool, right? Um... We don't worry about the opposition. Yeah, we, we definitely do. I'm just lying here. I think we can beat them. There we go. Team Morale is happy. Let's get in the game. I have made a couple of changes to the first team. I've gone with Timber at right back, Hincapié at left back, Trossard is in as well. Of course, Jesus starts against his old club. He has been on fire recently. Otherwise, it is my first team. So I'm going full strength here. I, I think Hincapié is better than Zinchenko. I, I know it sucks, guys, because... Zinchenko is so good for us in real life, but in this game, and we saw it in last year's game as well, I always end up having the same problem. Oops, that's a bad pass. Wait, Rodri is at Cam? Or is that just right now? I'm so confused why he's so far up. He actually is. Wow, incredible. But um, the lack of pace for Zinchenko, it really hurts him. And when you're playing against a team like City, see, look, up against Haaland here, hincapié has got more of a chance than Zinchenko ever would. And Rodri's almost scored. He is the best cam in the league. <laughs> By the way, you probably can hear it in my voice. I haven't actually been up that long. I'm feeling a bit rusty, but we're in here. Timber, trying to pass that across to Jesus. And actually last night we, um, we played against Lons in the Champions League and lost. I'm still feeling a little bit down about that, to be honest. Very disappointing result. Hello, Fabio Vieira, no way. It fell so kindly. Nice turn. Jesus on site. I'm just going to shoot from here. Maybe I could have carried it forward a little bit. It's going to be another corner, though. We've been the better team. 
We really have. Do we go short? Yeah, I think we do. We're going to call for Fabio Vieira. And look at Trossard on the edge of the box. Top left. Not great. Did I mention that Trossard started? I decided to put him in on the left side instead of Gabby Martinelli. Just because Trossard's been so good. Oh my god, Hincapié. Oh my god. This could work. Into Jesus. Oh, what the hell? Okay, we'll take that. Vieira. Over on the right, Timber. Into Saka. Hit it. Oh, he has scored so many goals this season in that exact scenario. Of course, he blasts it over against City. What's Haaland going to do? Just run? Okay, he finds the pass into Grealish. Oh, God, I can't switch to the right defender. I literally can't switch to the right defender. Luckily, I could call Ramsdale out. Look at Saka. This could work. Over the top for Jesus. Go on. Oh, Diaz is so strong, though, isn't he? He's giving it away. Oh, and Mendes. Jeez. This is a close game. Cross coming in. Dealt with. Win the header. Oh, got lucky there. Here we go. Fabio Vieira. Through for Jesus. Oh, Gvardiol's just stuck his left foot out. So frustrating. You, you literally see the pass. It's right there, and you try to put it through, and the, the game sometimes just puts it a bit too close to the defender, but... It is what it is. Maybe I could have done it over the top. We've kept Haaland quiet. That is definitely a good thing. Here is Jolinton. Up to Trossard. Into Jesus. Oh, he's in. Please. Good save. It's a very good save. It was a tight angle. I wasn't really expecting that to go in. Okay, let's get the corner in from Saka. Oh, that's good. That's really good. It just happened to be Rodri versus Jesus, didn't it? It couldn't have been Saliba against... I don't know... <laughs> Grealish or Foden. Another corner coming in. Hincapié this time. Oh, hang on. Out to Trossard. Got Rodri on his tail. Still moving here. Still going. Still going. Get it in the box. Okay, we'll take another corner. We are piling the pressure on right now. Oh, apparently the game's giving me a hint. Do you know what? Okay, I'll do it. We saw... Arteta having a chat with uh, Havertz there. Let's get him on. Imagine the scenes if I cross this in and Havertz towers above everyone else and slams it in with his massive forehead. <laughs> Corner coming in. Oh, no. Way too close to Edison. Why does Gabriel have a yellow card? When did that happen? I'm, I'm sick of getting yellow cards and not knowing what happened. I need to take better notice. Whoa, that was close. Win the header, please. Oh, come on. Saliba? Yes. Well done. Here is Havertz. Over to Jesus. Surely not. Ah! Oh, why am I saying surely not? Surely I should score, right? <laughs> Another corner. How many have I had in this game? Delivery coming in. Gabriel's there! Come on! Big Gabby! Oh, that's huge. For third place. <laughs> Because I'm not getting any better. I'm actually about to take Gabriel off. Because I really don't want to get a red card. It seems awful, doesn't it? You've just scored. Well done. And now you're coming off. But um, Hincapié is going to go there. And Zinchenko can come on. I'm also going to bring in Martinelli and Ferguson now. Just to switch it up a little bit. But what a great time to score. Finally, one of these corners pays off. Feels like ages since I scored from a corner. And I called it earlier. Why wasn't my header against Grealish? As soon as it was... We won the header and we scored it. That needs to be fixed. It genuinely needs to be fixed. I will make sure I show you that entire run. There is nothing I can do with my centre-back who has, what, 82 pace, I think? De Bruyne just walks through and it's straight from kickoff. It's so annoying. I get that he's won the physical battle, maybe, and I couldn't make the tackle, but the way he ran past me like that, it's just so dead. Like, how slow Hincapié was to get running. It's so obviously holding De Bruyne's hand a little bit there. It's all right, we'll get another one. Look at this. What? I'm scoring it. Of course. It's so stupid. Kickoff glitch is real, guys. The kickoff glitch is back. De Bruyne has a free kick now. Surely he's not going to shoot from there. Oh my god, he is. What a waste. Why would you do that? Let's roll that out. Oh, oh, oh my.
That is absolutely not what I meant to do, guys. Okay. I was trying to roll that. I don't know who it was. Someone was available a little bit further forward. Okay, well, look, I scored a bit of a cheesy goal just walking through their defence like that. And um, I've given them one back. So we're back to square one. 15 minutes to go. <laughs> what an absolute mess. Don't give away a penalty. Don't lose the game. Don't lose the game. Third place it is, guys. <laughs> Not that that's changed. I don't want to watch that again. <laughs> um, it, it's just crazy, isn't it? It is what it is. I've tried. I've really tried my best in this game. Maybe I can get an equaliser here. Havertz. That pass. That pass. Again, it's just so shocking. Obviously, I don't want to pass it right at the freaking defender. Why would I want to do that? Can I see where I aimed it? I'm sorry to do this. I just need to know. Can I Can I have the arrows? How do you get the arrows up on screen again? Um, training indicators on. Great. So it's not showing me where I aimed it. So you can quite clearly see what I'm trying to do here. Just give it to his feet. Look at that. Look how much space there is. And where does he put the pass? That is an A pass, by the way. So not a through ball. Just straight at him. It's just... Ugh. Uh, and they're going to score again, aren't they? Alvarez. Oh, well done. It happened to them. Come on, we've got time. Put it through. Oh, guys. Martinelli's on. He's through. An equaliser, surely. <laughs> I I think a draw is fair. So we're, we're just going to accept it for what it is. It feels like a winner, according to those celebrations. But the referee should blow his whistle here. And that is, um, I mean, a pretty good result considering it's Man City. But we should have won this game. If we're being honest, we should have won this game for sure. Moving on into the next match day, we have Luton who are right at the bottom of the table. So we are going with our second team here. Do I want to make any changes? I think so. I'm going to take Timber out because he's been starting a lot recently. At left back, we'll go with Zinchenko, who didn't start the last game. So Havertz is going to get a game here as well. Smithrow and Jorginho. Look, it's a strong team. We should absolutely be beating Luton. So we're going to quick sim this one. We're at home. 5-1. Oh, I was close. Four goals ahead. I got that right. Tommy Yasu scored. I could have done a Tommy Yasu. Ferguson, Smithrow. Four different scorers. That's really good. They didn't have a single chance, apparently, Luton. They had two shots, but no chances. Oh, dearie me. So they shot from, what, 40 yards out? <laughs> okay, and then who's up next? Brighton. Away. Oh! Did you see that? I haven't even looked. I just saw who we've got in the Champions League. It's Barcelona. Oh, my God. We are playing that home game in this episode. Absolutely. So we'll play Brighton away, and then we're playing at home to Barcelona. Oh, my God. Thing of beauty. Um, Jesus is happier right now. That's good. Uh, Jorginho. I played you. Oh, he wants to play against Brighton. I could start him. I could, I could start him. I, I don't think that's a bad thing. We could give Rice a little bit of a rest for this one. So let's do that. Um, Jorginho can come in. Timber starts. Incapier starts. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. I should be preparing for Barcelona. So I want Incapier fit for that one. I'll play Ben White against Barcelona. Um, I'll play Havertz as well for that one. Let's go Henrique and completely rest Saka. I don't, I don't, I don't need to get any injuries right now, that's for sure. And uh, we'll start Nketia. Yeah, let's do that. So Nketia, who isn't happy at the moment, or for obvious reasons. And um, we'll, we'll start Martinelli. Otherwise, yeah, this is definitely strong enough. That's a good start. Oh, yes. Nketia, fake shot inside. No! I got too close to Igor there. Jorginho wins it back for us, though. Oh, lucky bounce. Oh, Henrique! Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. What a start to the game. And we're back to just having unlimited corners, right? Is that what we're going to be doing in this game? Good delivery. It's coming straight back out to Vieira. Out to Nketia. Where am I going? 
Um, nowhere. Oh, my God. Got so lucky. Martinelli. Straight back out to Timber. Into the box. Ah, oh, too light. Not enough power on the pass. Or the cross. Whatever you want to call that. Well, we're 1-0 down. Just like that. It's really good play. Brighton tore me apart there. They've got some really technically gifted players. Is he onside? I think he is. He is. And Ketia. Oh, my God. Instant equaliser. Welcome back into the team, Eddie and Ketia. We have three very good striker options. He is third choice, but he's got one here today. Go on, Jorginho. Go on, son. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> what was that shot? For an 83-rated player, you'd expect at least hitting the target from there. That was really quite shocking. Can we win that header? Nice. Zinner. Now Martinelli. Look at the space opening up. Look at <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, my God. That is broken. Absolutely broken. He is just so quick. Oh, Henrique. He sent him for a hot dog. What is that, though? Why would I want to pass to Timber? And I didn't mean to shoot there. <laughs> what a mess. That was beautiful from Henrique, though. He's a tidy player. I've got to say, I, I do like him. I need to use him a little bit more because every now and again I think, oh, I wish I got Kubo. I'm still tempted to get Kubo at some point, if I'm honest. I mean, the reason I got Henrique is because I needed to sign South Americans. I felt a little bit forced. I do often think, ooh, Kubo. Kubo could be very, very good fun. We'll see. Let's see if we can get one more before half time here. Kill the game off, potentially. What is that from Enketia? Oh, my God. There are moments where Enketia is so, so good. And then he does stuff like that, and I, I realise why Ferguson is my preferred choice. <laughs> For God's sake! Guess what happened there? He knocks it forward and just runs, and my defenders, Saliba this time, can't keep up. I don't know how to fix that. I, I don't know how to stop that from happening. Ramsdale so nearly made the save as well. Okay, two all. Game on. Oh my god, what a ball. That deserved a goal. That is where Zinchenko is incredible. When he's not defending, basically, <laughs> to be honest. Basically the same as in real life. Jolington. Give it back to him. Oh, hang on. Um, I'm kind of in the box there, mate. Why are you stopping play? For what? I mean, it's an okay position for a free kick, but really? Okay. Um, I think I want to roll this out. Just run. Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. What is that? What is that? How is he able to find the space like that? <laughs> Please, game. Oh, my God. You can't let João Pedro just stand in the box completely open like that. I don't understand. What is that? <laughs> okay, and now we're losing. This is it. Last chance to save another draw. Henrique. Oh. Oh. No. Ferguson, against his old club, had a chance to ruin the day for them. <laughs> He's missed it on purpose, clearly. This is an incredible save. Oh, with his thumb. Mate, I hope that thumb's broken now. <laughs> okay, we're playing it short. This is it. I have to score from this. Enrique, outside of the left boot. It just tickled the outside of the post. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Manchester United and Spurs will be licking their lips right now, knowing they are getting closer and closer. I am dropping points way too much. How have I not got something from this game, though? I didn't even play that badly. I just made a couple of errors in defense, as usual. We just have to move on, and thankfully, we've got some really good news, guys. We have fantastic news that Erdegaard is back from injury. He can't quite play yet, but we can get him involved in the team very soon. He's gone down to 86 rating, which is... Oh, it's kind of annoying, but... 
It is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and change up the team. Zinchenko's not starting this one. Yeah, I mean, I can put him on the on the bench and maybe have him come on in the second half. Should we do that? If it'll let me. Uh, Saka, Jesus, Martinelli. I mean, this, this is the team I should be starting with. This is going to be the team that gets us the win against Barcelona, hopefully. Are we going to be allowed to put Erdegaard in the team? Yes, we are. So he's got zero sharpness. There is no way he starts. There is no way he plays a whole half. He will come on maybe with 20 minutes to go, something like that. But um, what a game to have him back for. The captain has returned. He won't be captain today, though. Right, so Barcelona. I need Jack Wilshere in midfield. That's what I need today. This is not going to be easy, guys. One of the best strikers in the world in Lewandowski. They've got some incredible players in midfield and in defence as well. To Stegen in goal. Romeo in midfield. <laughs> it's not going to be an easy game at all. Well, we're off to a fantastic start here. Already under massive pressure. Oh my God, Rafinha. Oh my God! I can't defend! What is wrong with me? Is he onside? Yeah, he is. He made a little darting run backwards. Nice. Fabio Vieira. Oh, Jolington! How? How? Sometimes I just... I, I, I wonder how. <laughs> Give that to Jesus. Edge of the box. Martinelli. With the finesse of dreams. Oh, Gabby Martinelli. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I need to change my underwear. What a goal. Just the way he's curled that one in. The finesse shot of dreams indeed. Just, oh, so nice. What a way to equalize. Yeah, no one's saving that. I'm running out of things to say. Where where are my defenders? Look at Saliba. What? Look at Gabriel. Just let him walk in. Oh my. Oh my God. Nothing I can say about that one. That is just world class. We've conceded three in 22 minutes or whatever that is. I mean, this is what I was telling you about, guys. They are that good. Who crossed this? Is that Cancelo? What a goal. Thing is, I, I know I can score goals. So I'm not I'm not scared. And maybe we can get one back straight away. Oh my god, how slow are you to react, Jolinton? Please. Here's Declan Rice. Put it through for Vieira. Nice. Finish it. I think the game's trolling me today, to be honest. I, I think it's just trying to wind me up. Lewandowski's going to score this, isn't he? Jump the wall. Oof. The amount of power he got in that. Wow. Four. Four one. Oh my God. It might be over. What is going on? It's just completely wide open. I'm losing 5-1 now. Lewandowski, man. It's time for Martin Erdegaard. I have to. I have to at least try. Come on then, Martin. He feels really slow. Is it just me? I don't know. We've got Martinelli in the mid. Oh! That's got to be a yellow. I sweat. Has he got a broken leg? Bruv, what is up with his... His ankle was twisted. <laughs> Okay, please, Erdegaard, get up. He's fine. Oh, he's not He's not happy, though. If he got another injury, I would probably uninstall the game, to be honest. He's okay. He's going to be He's gonna be fine. Yeah, he's, he's on the free kick. But we know what's coming here. We roll. We pass it down the right. We get towards the box. Pass it back. Saka. Finesse shot. Blocked. We go again. We've still got 20 minutes in this game. Okay, I can still... Fix a little bit of this damage. Okay, we'll take another free kick. This time we shoot. We definitely shoot from here with Erdegaard. No, 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 not Saka. Erdegaard. Okay. You watch this, guys. 
This is flying in. Top right corner ready. Oh, no! I... I, <laughs> I promise, I swear on my mum's life. I pressed shoot, you know, I built, I built up the power and then I went for the whippage and the camera moved. It moved after I pressed shoot. I genuinely feel violated by this game today. Oh, Erdegaard's back, all right. What a pass. Still not going to score, though. Just so good to have that quality in midfield again. I've really, really missed him. It's a big injury to have. One of your best players, if not your best player, out for seven months. It's an absolute killer. It really is. And I've got no midfield now, by the way, because obviously I've um, put Havertz on in another cam roll. So I'm playing with just Rice in my midfield, pretty much. And it's... Um, not a problem, because I've already lost by a ton of goals. I might as well just go for it, try and score a couple. Oh, no. Oh, that's a penalty. Oh. Oh, it's going to be a red as well. Oh, we're going to be without Saliba. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, this could not have gone worse, genuinely. The only thing that could have made it worse is if Erdegaard did pick up another injury. And it's going to be Gundogan to take it as well. Top left. Top left. Well then. It would appear I have lost 6-1 at home to Barcelona. Six. With the sliders that made the game less crazy like this. I just have not been able to stop them. It's incredible, really. Oh, look at this kickoff glitch. Oh, look at this. We'll pull one back then. Cool. 6-2. <laughs> it could have been worse then, I guess. Can we realistically go to the new Camp or whatever the stadium's called in this game without the license and rescue a four-goal deficit? The answer's no, guys. We are out of the Champions League pretty much certainly, but there is still a small chance. So... I will obviously try. I will try. And Rafinha, ex-Arsenal target, of course, picks up a hat-trick. Lewandowski got two, I believe. Yeah, just top class from Barcelona. You know what really sucks, though? If I go to Spain and actually win that game by enough and go through, all the comments are just going to be, oh, you cheated, or oh, you made it easy. That's what kind of sucks about what I do. I can't really win now. But I'll try. I will try. You guys will just have to believe it. You know, I'm not I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to do that. So hopefully we can just put in an insane performance. Maybe I play, you know, five at the back or something and just play counterattack. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out in the next episode. But um, I'm so, so happy Erdegaard is back. We will absolutely make sure that we get his match sharpness up. So that's what we're going to do literally right now. The email agrees with me. So I had him down here. So to get that sharpness up, uh, we want to go... All out performance, right? Wait, it's not changing it at all. Um, right. Well, that that's good. His sharpness won't be affected at all. <sighs> oh, no Saliba as well. Wait, hang on. Is he out just for the next game, which is Villa? No, it is the next Champions League game. Good, that's a good thing. It's realistic. But guys... That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, conceding so many goals. Fantastic as always. Um, I'm going to go and cry myself to sleep for the rest of today. <laughs> no, the reality is, is I've recorded a lot earlier today because I've got such a busy afternoon. But thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow, 7pm, for the return leg. Can we actually turn that around? You will have to wait and see.